Right, two guitars, one knife. Uh, this is something a little bit different from the company Jet. Uh, I got sent an email by a guy who works for Help Leonard, and he said, would you like to check out a couple of these guitars? And I've had Jet guitars on the panel before, but never had them sponsor a video. Um, let's see. what the situation is. Need more bubble wrap. Katie in black. Very fetching looking, I can already see. So this is like a step up in terms of quality from the normal range. Rather fetching, um, kind of Super comfortable for the neck, actually. Sort of looks to me like a Matteo Sasato style sir. So that's the GS380. Um, locking tuners. Roasted maple neck, very tidy looking. Lovely feeling frets. And gold hardware. Next, we have one that comes with the case. I think this is from their Elite range, is what they're calling it. Let's look at how this thing goes. What I'm looking for really here is just to see whether there's like a noticeable step up in quality or specs. And here we see this is like got a carbon fibre style pit guard. Some of those frets feel a little bit slightly sharper than the other one. Um, Wilkinson here, very much like what you'd get on a Sur, and nice access here. And again, comfortable feeling, a really nice weight actually, super comfortable feeling. Right, let's give them both a play. This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses.
Okay then, so first of all, looks like we got Jet branded hardware here, so not Wilkinson hardware on this one. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say heavy, just a comfortable weight. I don't think this has Dodarios on it either, but we do have locking tuners, which are Jet branded, and as with all the Jet guitars, a nice kind of roasted maple. Feels really good in the hands, this neck. Um, like, really good. Like, a lot better than the Fender players that I uh, bought recently. So that's worth bearing in mind. Alnico pickups. Um, the plastics are one area which I would say kind of give away uh, the budget of this guitar. I think this is like a sort of 350, so, you know, sort of their mid-range-ish guitars. It's still a Wilkinson style push-in trem, but... Ability. The nut is actually really well cut for a guitar at this price point. Normally that is an area that I notice things uh, seem to be a little bit more cheap looking, but this, they got really tidy. <laughs> very nice feeling. Kind of about what you'd expect from a jet really. I think it's quite pretty looking to my eyes. Um, plays well. I think if it were me I'd be putting some tens on here. It feels very easy to play. I think a set of tens might suit it really nicely. But what I wanted to talk to you even more about in this elite range because this is kind of new and this i'll probably do another separate video on it i guess but features some wilkinson hardware uh, so we've got wilkinson tuners which feel super high quality and also wilkinson uh, bridge like you get on a, a sir guitar as well as access which looks kind of like a sir um and in general, I think Sir might be the, the, the best comparator for, you know, where Jet seem to be looking for inspiration. This is kind of sparkly gold and this carbon fibre-esque pick guard. Um, but... <laughs> And 
and then it, they say PPS nut, which kind of looks somewhat like kind of graphite, but super tidy work here. In general, this guitar, I can't really find any flaws on it, um, which, you know, if you're going to call it elite, it better be good, right? <laughs> Like the neck is thicker as well than like a standard Fender player. And it comes strong with Didarios. comfortable kind of rolled uh, fretboard edges um, I can feel a little bit of the frets here but not too rough um, and in general a very comfortable feeling neck definitely reminiscent to me of my Sir telly that I used to have a, a while ago um, super high quality and when you're looking down at it it kind of looks great uh, the knobs and stuff look you know a step better quality than the lower price stuff as well you're getting alnico pickups whereas in the cheaper stuff that they make you get ceramics so uh i think a really good entry into <laughs> slightly more mid-priced area of the market I think yeah you want to be getting these things better and noticeably better than the entry-level jets which I think already hit above their weight and I think they've done that with these so that's really cool I'd like to check out some more of the elite range because it's yeah even a step closer towards that kind of sir kind of level I think really impressive in terms of is there anything I would change about these guitars I'm trying to think of something um, and just looking at it so the hardware they're getting right I think um, maybe the finishes they could do something else with those but in terms of looks like and in terms of quality in general I'm be super happy to play that sort of thing uh, maybe this um, pick guard is not my favorite looking thing um, but we're really kind of nitpicking stuff that I guess really doesn't change the quality of the guitar. I really like this upper fret access, which is Sir inspired. I really like the look of the roasted maple stuff. The guitar is nice and lightweight, no kind of boat anchor stuff going on here. It's set up incredibly well. The frets feel great. Um, there's just nothing about it that needs to be changed particularly. <laughs> 